Okay, uh, we're going to talk about adding SSH keys. You maybe have already tried to interact with um, your repositories that you've created on github.com. Whenever you do, um, you do git add, git commit, and then you do git push, and it's asking for your password constantly. Uh, that's super annoying. Uh, or you haven't done any of that, and you're just following the instructions, and you're like, okay, we have to deal with this SSH key thing. Um, what this does is, like, while at Turing and the rest of your time as a developer, you're going to spend a ton of time talking to GitHub from your terminal. And every time you want to push data to GitHub, it has to validate that you are who you say you are. And it can do that either by taking a username and a password, which is when you enter it over and over and over again on the command line, or you can generate this SSH key thing, and it just knows your identity when you make that push, um, and then it makes everything smooth and easy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set that up. Uh, so you have um, this GitHub SSH keys section. Um, and sure enough, it says it's easier than typing in our password every time we want to interact with GitHub. So um, we'll generate a new key by using this command. It's large enough. Uh, and then the steps I'm working through, I'm going to leave here underneath the terminal that I'm working with so I can look at both. That. So we'll do ssh dash key gen dash t rsa dash capital C. Um, if you're curious of what all of this is, which I think you should be, you can just do ssh dash key gen maybe dash dash help. Uh, yeah, and it gave us a bunch of output. Ha! It uh, only gave us output because we gave it this, it doesn't recognize what this dash dash thing is. Um, so maybe it doesn't know what help is. But anyway, it's giving us this overview. So we've got dash t as one flag, so dash t here, and we can pass in dsa, ed, sa, or this other thing, or rsa. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, and then dash c, let's try to find that. Mm, see dash c, dash c, lowercase c, passphrase, oh, capital C, comment. Okay, so Capital C, mean, this means this John Doe at example.com is a comment passed into the SSH key gen command. Okay, I know pretty much nothing what's happening here other than these are the instructions that we're following. So we'll follow them. SSH key gen dash lowercase t rsa dash capital C, and I'm using uh, this. And so that'll generate a key. Um, it says generating a pcare, I'm sorry, generating a public private key pair, hard to pronounce that. Um, and then it says when prompted to enter a file in which to save the key, enter a file in which to save the key, uh, press enter. So this accepts the default file location, um, which it prints out the default file location right here. Users, Crompson, SSH, ID, RSA. So I'll just hit enter and it'll put it out there. Um, it's okay that I'm overwriting it. I already tested and saved all this stuff, so I'm going to hit yes. Um, maybe you got an overwrite warning. You may not have. That's okay. Um, when asked to enter a password, hit enter, which means no password. So this says leave empty for no password. So we're going to hit enter, and we have to do it again. And then it says, hey, it worked. Uh, your identification has been saved here. Public key has been saved here. Fingerprint, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all right. So we'll add this new key to our system by running this command. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. ssh dash add tilde forward slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa. And if you use the tab to complete some of this stuff, it should go just fine. So I can redo this and do tilde forward slash dot ss tab, and it grabs the rest of that ssh slash. And I can do id underscore tab and it goes to there. If I hit tab a couple more times, we'll get ID RSA or ID RSA .pub. Um, We just, we're not gonna worry about the .pub piece. We'll just do ID RSA, so I hit enter. And it says identity added, which is cool. Um, and so now it says copy the new public key to your clipboard. Uh, so if we ls the contents of that directory, forward slash dot ssh forward slash, um, you see ID RSA, ID underscore RSA dot pub and known hosts. So we want to copy this to our clipboard. Um, so PB copy is, I think, paste bin copy, and then it's the contents of whatever this file is. So 
um, we want id rsa.pub. It's a public key, so we can cat it and see what it looks like. Forward slash. So we'll do cat tilde forward slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub, and that's what our public key looks like. So we'll copy the new public key to the clipboard. So pb copy uh, less than sign tilde forward slash dot ssh tab complete id underscore rsa um, and I'll hit tab or dot period and then hit tab again that brings the rest of it along and we'll hit enter and I misspelled it ps copy isn't a command pp copy is what we wanted so we'll change that to pp copy cool now this is uh, on the clipboard and if I was going to open up like Adam I could paste it here and we would see this long, long, long string. Uh, all right, so that's our public key and now we need to go give this to GitHub. So we'll go to this github.com slash settings slash keys. You can see if I mouse over the URL, it's the same URL that's listed down in the corner. So I'm just gonna hit command and click it and it opens up this new tab. Command shift right bracket tabs over there. Um, and let's see, okay, so we went to that URL, click the green new SSH key button, new SSH key button. Um, and let's see, you can leave the title section empty or we can paste the key into the key and, and then paste, paste the key. Okay, so we'll leave this empty, paste the key there. Uh, direction say, hit the green add SSH key button. Add SSH key. Cool. So now we have this key. It says never used. Cool. Um, so uh, we can do SSH T get at github.com. I'm going to show you what happens if this isn't here, real quick. So I'm going to delete this. Um, so there's no keys associated with the account. Uh, so if we go to terminal and do this command, SSH dash capital T get at github.com SSH dash capital T get at github.com and it says permission denied github doesn't like it so now we'll go, jump in here do new SSH key leave that empty paste that there add SSH key now git has it come back over here and rerun this command if I hit the up arrow it'll come back SSH dash T get at github.com and boom JoshWorks v2, you've successfully authenticated, but GitHub does not provide shell access. Um, great, we're not gonna sweat the GitHub piece. Um, okay, that's it for adding SSH keys. Hope this was helpful.